In the last 12 months, I've personally coached hundreds of land investors inside of Leo. And in that process, I've unlocked one of the most interesting data sets that I want to share with you. And it really comes down to the question of why do some people have big ass, big, crazy results in their life and others have small, mediocre results? Is that all a game of just random luck or chance? Let's find out. You see, our track record inside of Leo is unlike anything else in the coaching space. Our hit rate is unheard of. But even within that data set, we have some people that have mediocre success and some people that have massive success. So what gives? Well, I've been spending a lot of time unpacking this data set. And even outside of Leah, I spend my free time reading biographies and studying people of history, studying people I respect, people that I'm inspired by. And I've seen a common link between the outliers in Leah and some of the greats in history. And it really all comes down to this sense of what you feel you deserve. It all comes down to the standards you have for yourself. And I know that sounds so crazy to think that something as simple as a belief can dictate your results, but I've seen it time and time again. You ever hang out with a really successful person or someone that you know will be really successful at some point? and you hear them talk and they talk so big. They talk so big, it almost makes you uncomfortable. It makes your small little worldview kind of crouch in like this and it makes you feel vulnerable. It makes you feel like, what's wrong with me? I know I know, I felt that way. And look, there's a difference between a talker, but when you know someone's a doer and they have big aspirations, you feel, you know what I'm talking about. And it's the same thing inside Leah. Some people come in and they have this worldview, this belief that I only can do one deal a month or I must do only $10,000 deal. And if you got some people that come in and say, look at MF, I'm doing seven figures this year, come hell or high water, because that's what I deserve. And it's totally different to have a goal versus having an emotion of what you actually feel you deserve. You can set goals all day long, but if you don't feel internally that that's what you deserve, you're never gonna get it. And so what we're talking about here is the feeling. We're talking about what you actually believe you deserve. And so I want you to ask yourself right now, what do you deserve? If you get really honest, you get clear with yourself, are you playing small? Be real with me, are you playing small? Could you raise the barometer of what you feel like you deserve? I think the answer for all of us on some level is a yes. And I wanna share a really interesting story. Part of this was kind of the catalyst for me. We've got a gentleman named Adam who joined Leah probably about less than two months ago. And his first two deals were six figure deals. The first one was a package deal, it was a, a bundle of multiple properties, probably make him 200 to 300 grand on that deal alone. Second deal is one he's working on right now. It's a monster 350 acre property buying for 200 grand, probably worth 370 to 400 as a flip. Or if he wants to subdivide it, it's probably gonna be a 500 to $600,000 deal. The dude's two deals in, he's two months into land. He's got no business doing deals like that. On paper, everyone would say, no, 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 that doesn't make sense. But what is Adam think he believes, but what does Adam think he deserves? It, the deals he's doing is a reflection of what he thinks he deserves. You see, I went through a transition in my business last year where I said, I'm gonna start doing big value add deals. And the funny thing is, I didn't even have to change that much about my business. I initially had to change what I thought I deserved. I had to change what I thought I was capable of because I had all these limiting beliefs that I'm just some Joe Schmo. I don't know anything about land development. I don't know anything about developing real estate. Why would anyone ever work with me? Why would developers work with me? Why would the county work with me? I'm just some Joe Schmo. And I had that belief for my entire land career. So of course, those deals never came across my desk. Or if they did, I never was able to recognize them. And that's what's so crazy about limiting beliefs is when you got them, you've got blinders on. You couldn't even see a million dollar opportunity if it hit you in the face. So I don't care where you're at in your journey. You could be 10 years in, you could be 10 days in. I want you to ask yourself, get a gut check. What do you actually believe you deserve? And if you feel like you're playing small, ask yourself, is that serving you? Right? Look, the world's not fair, I agree. But we get to set the tone. We get to set the standard of what we think we deserve. No one else can force that on you. No one else can change that for you. That's up to you. That's a God given right. And I think there's a huge misconception between humility and thinking small. Humility is a godly trait. Thinking small is a disrespect to the creator, to the universe, to the God, whatever you want to call it. It's a disrespect for the infinite gifts that you've been given, for the infinite potentiality that's stored within you. That's a disrespect to play it small. I mean, think about it like this. You're a homo sapien. Think about all the ancestors that had to come before us to even get us to this point. All the ones that didn't make it because they weren't strong enough. You are the remnants of the strongest. If I put your feet to the fire and push came to shove, I know you'd figure it out because you You've got that X factor and you've got that homo sapien can do anything. I don't know how else to describe it. I think a lot of us in this modern day and age, we've forgotten that. We have lost sight of that inner power. We're so busy watching Netflix, scrolling TikTok and getting Uber Easter house that we forget how capable we really are. And that's why I think it's important to put our feet to the fire deliberately so we remind ourselves of the strength that we do have. And when you see that strength, you recognize, oh, I can do more. Oh, I deserve more. Oh, I can be more. So whether you're inside Leah or not, I want you to watch this video. I want you to raise your stance. Now, like I said, part of it is actually putting your feet to the fire and testing yourself and seeing real proof to remind yourself of your strength. You need to get data from the world that you actually know what the hell you're doing. I understand that. It's hard to totally fake it till you make it. But are you putting yourself in situations where you can go and collect data to see your strength? And even in those early days, even when you're collecting data, you can still think big. You might not be at your max potential of big thinking, but I can guarantee you, you can think bigger than you are right now. And I feel incredibly fortunate to be able to collect the data that I've collected inside of the
Leah, to see the disparity. Some people make 100 grand their first year. Some people make 500 grand their first year. It can't all just come down to luck, skill, and work ethic. That's not everything. So much of it is deeply rooted in here. And in fact, as I've grown in my business career, I've recognized that this is always the biggest bottleneck. At this point in my business, I'm not looking for new strategies. I'm not looking for new techniques. I'm not looking for new tactics. I'm looking at how to level this thing up because this is the great deciding factor on all of the outcomes in my life. So raise those standards. Understand that you are more capable than you could ever imagine. Love yourself. Have a great rest of your day. Take care.